Hi guys, this is Olga. Welcome back on my YouTube channel. There were so many of you that enjoyed my Pikachu tutorial that I decided to paint one more Pokemon Go design for you. So in this video, we're gonna learn how to paint Bulbasaur. I mixed some light green and light blue to make a color that is suitable for the Pokemon's body and I'm applying it using a filter brush, covering the eyelid first and then building up the shape of the Pokemon. For this kind of structural design, you will definitely need an inspiration picture to get all the proportions right. A filbert brush is a perfect tool to create fleshy Bulbasaur's body. And it also helps build up the shape and fill it in pretty quickly. For the bulb, I'm using a one-stroke flat brush loaded with a split cake with greens. I'm starting by laying it flat and then I'm twisting it while I move it to obtain a curved stroke. Now find the center of the face of the Bulbasaur, divide the face into the top half and bottom half and place the eyes on the line in between these two halves. Getting the eyes and the mouth in place can be a little bit tricky, so use the picture for inspiration, try to copy it and practice on a piece of paper before you move to face paint. And the same rule for painting the mouth. Divide the face into left half and right half, find the center of the face and this is going to be the center of the mouth. Did you check out my Pikachu tutorial? It is so cute! If you love Pokemon, you should definitely see it! And again, I'm using some stenciling around. It looks like I've been using these dots for all of my designs recently. But uh, who cares, I just like them. For the spots, I mix some dark green and teal and I'm laying the brush down on the skin just because it helps to get all the edges round and even. For the whip, I'm using the same number 3 brush and dark green mixed with a little bit of black and I'm starting from the bulb, kind of creating curved reverse teardrops. That means that you want to have them thicker at the end, so while you move the brush, increase the pressure and press at the end. For the outline, I'm using a number 3 round brush and regular black and I'm trying to work on the tip of my brush to get the outline very thin and accurate. I finished by painting two cute fangs and adding some highlights as a final touch. All done! Please support me with a like if you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check out my other videos, check me out on Instagram and on Facebook and see you soon! Bye bye!